Good morning, everyone. I hope today is going well for you. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I came on here briefly because I wanted to show you guys some of what it is that I'll be doing for my morning breakfast. Uh, this is just going to be a different breakfast this morning. Um, I'm going to do a light breakfast because I was kind of sick as I posted a couple of days ago. that I felt like I was getting sick. And I really did feel the sickness coming. But um, I'm thinking more of the, I don't want to say flu, but whatever it was, it had me down for a couple of days. And I wasn't completely down because like I told you guys, I was going to continue to do stuff. And I did. Um, but anyway, this is what I'm doing today. I um, am going to show you guys something. Uh, in regards to what my breakfast is going to be before I work out. Because you have to eat something. Even if it's a light snack, a yogurt, um, an apple, a piece of grapefruit. Anything before your workout. You're supposed to have something on your stomach. So that it will give the metabolism what it needs to burn the calories. I broke my nail off. This one right here. And it, my nails, as you can see are long and this is the top coat covering my nails and somehow this one cracked last night i'm going to get them done today but anyway i um wanted you guys i just came on here briefly so i could show you guys what i was doing so for instance what i was saying to you guys about eating healthier and choosing better foods and choosing making um, better decisions about what goes inside of my body and what I digest and what I take. Now, I could go route of pescetarian. I could do vegetarian. I could do um, the keto diet, any of that. That's not what I'm doing. What I'm choosing to do is reduce the sugar intake. I definitely need my sodium intake reduced because I don't need my blood pressure skyrocketing. Um because I gave up one source of uh, food to substitute for another one. And once again, I don't need the salt. I don't need the, I don't need any of that. So basically, I'm reducing the intake of what it is that I take and eat. Uh, especially salt and sugar. So, um, today I um, decided I was going to make me a fruit and yogurt parfait. Okay, make it pretty as you can. There's my little strawberries. I cannot reverse my camera. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm working on getting a better one. I'm using my cell phone as of right now. Um, once I uh, find the one that I want and then want to invest the money in it, I will get me one. Um, so, I got me a uh, fruit and yogurt parfait. And what I did was, yesterday I had went to the store. I should have hauled these things, but... Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But anyway, I went and bought me some granola. And, um, it's the Nature's Own, I believe that's the name of it, or Nature Valley. And I bought the granola that they have in the bags. Now, you know they do the bars, but they also have granola in the bags. It's this right here. It's crumbled up. If you can see, it's crumbled up granola. It's kind of like the bars. Um, if you want to invest in the bars and crumble it up on your own, you got time, go for it. I went on and bought the bag. I think I paid $3 and I want to say 73 cents for the bag. And I think I got like, I want to say 12 servings. You guys, I'm going to do better. So I'll let you guys know better. So I, I hate being misinformed and I hate misinforming others. So let me just. Say I got the granola okay what I do remember about the granola I've got me some snacks I got me some granola I got some cheez -Its. uh it's, it has the little pretzels and the, the little ball cheese balls and stuff like that and so I've been looking because at one time they used to sell um 100 calorie snacks and they would have a portion of the 100 calories so it was 100 calories no matter what the sodium was low the sugar was low so what I decided I was going to do was going to go research the cheese it because I could not find what I was looking for and go by the serving size. To come to find out the serving size was a cup 
of the snack that I bought. I have to let you guys know later on a later date on what that snack was. It was cheese it something. But anyway, if you guys know what I'm talking about, it comes with the little cheese it crackers. It has the cheese balls. It has a little piece of, I want to say baguette with some cheese on it. And it has a little skinny pretzel. Um, yeah, and pretty much you can make your own chig, your own, you know, check mix with this stuff. So, what I did was, is I bought that and then I looked at the back of the box and it told me how many servings is per serving. So, one cup of that was a serving. A cup of this granola is a serving and there's something else that I got and I can't remember what the third thing is that I put into Ziploc bags. But I bought some snack Ziploc bags or little Ziploc bags. And I actually used the bigger ones, but I could have used smaller because this really is the ones that I use for like my chicken and broccoli and shrimp and... Um, salmon if I want to put it in here and then I stick these stack these in the freezer which I'm going to show you guys how I did that and I'm also going to show you how I prep because I'm going to get some um, little mason jars and I'm going to prep me this uh, parfait the thing that's missing today right now is the blueberries because I'm my grandkids they just come by from after school grandma what you got in the refrigerator and don't ask just take so the joy of grandchildren, I promise you. Um, my kids knew better. They didn't just walk in somebody's refrigerator and just take stuff. My grandkids, on the other hand, they're a different breed um, <laughs> of children. So, anyway, come to find that the serving amount on this is a cup. Okay, so, here's the thing. If I wanted to, um, I went to Walmart and I bought this great value light Greek yogurt. Let me show it to you guys. You see, it's light Greek yogurt, right? great value light greek yogurt it is the 32 ounce uh size so it's a two pound container two pound tub it has i'm gonna read it to you it says one third fewer calories than regular greek yogurt or regular greek low-fat yogurt which is good okay this is 100 calories total 100 calories per serving okay how much is a serving cheryl it says nutrition facts about five servings per container. One serving, uh, serving size is two third cups. So it's a two third cup serving of this will give you the 100 calorie intake that you're looking for. Okay, it says calories uh, is 100. But here's what the thing is that I really be looking for. Okay, it says total fat, uh, zero grams, saturated fat, zero grams, trans fat, zero grams. Those are the things I'm looking for. Cholesterol is 5 milligrams, which is about 2% of the 100 calories is how much milligrams is in here of cholesterol. Sodium is 55 milligrams, which is about 2% of the 100% or uh, 100 calories. Okay. 55 milligrams of salt is in here. Um, it actually says sodium. So, which represents salt in our world too. So that's pretty low because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a comparison one day. I'm going to let you guys see the difference in the sodium in, that you're taking in without even realizing you're thinking you're eating healthy because it says this. But if you look at the label, it tells you how much is in it. Okay. Dietary. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I skipped. Total carbohydrates. Total carbohydrates is 10 grams. Not bad. 4%. Um, total fiber grams is zero grams of fiber and total sugar is eight grams okay which includes of the eight grams of sugar includes added sugar all right so that means that there's a natural sugar to this and then there's a sweetener to it so it is three grams sweetener that's what I'm looking for how low that amount is it's very low um, any amount of sugar is a lot of sugar if you're trying to cut sugar. But, as I said earlier, no matter what you do, it's going to have sugar in it. Even when it says sugar-free, there is sugar in it. Read your labels. Okay? Uh, protein amount is 14 grams. Vitamin D is 30, is 3.7 milligrams. Calcium is 170 milligrams, which is good. Iron is 0 milligrams. Potassium is 208 milligrams. 
Now, like I said, what I was looking for was a low count on the salt, which is 55 milligrams, and then the low count on the dietary sugar, which was eight, really uh, five grams. And that's regular sugar, but the amount I was looking for was the three grams. So I did that, and I cannot tell you how much is in this because I threw the box away yesterday, not even thinking. So a full serving of that is a cup, one measuring cup. Okay, so this is what you do. When you get ready to serve or separate this stuff, or when you get ready to put your, uh, sorry guys, I'm using my tripod so my camera's gonna be a little twisted. When you get ready to use the um, measuring of that, make sure you have plenty of measuring cups. Uh, tablespoons, teaspoons, you know, the measuring spoons, one fourth, one third. Use those because they help you with measuring. So what I did was I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought, and I'm going to go back and get another one because somehow I think my son or my daughter ended up with my measuring stuff. Just can't find it. So, and I have more than one kind, but I bought specific ones for specific reasons. So this I'm going to go back to the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar and it comes with the whole set. It comes with the measuring cups and it comes with the tea, the, the measuring spoons which is helpful because in actuality what i did today is um to equal two-thirds because again my cup was gone you use a half of this in a tablespoon of yogurt and that becomes two-thirds that would be your two-thirds period so i'm going to take and use half of this granola today because i don't need this full cup of granola now what i probably will do is for the snack later on today i probably will snack on it that's probably what I'm going to do later on with the remainder of the granola that is um, left over. So I'm just going to sprinkle me some granola on my parfait here. And what I did, if you could see it, I think you could see it. And I'm probably not going to use the whole half a cup. So what I did was, is I layered it. So it's. Yogurt was the first thing, then I put a layer of strawberry, then I put another layer of yogurt, then I put the layer of strawberry. Make it pretty. And then um, this, so it would look nice. But I'm going to, like I told you, I'm going to get the mason jars and I'm going to fill, I'm going to fix it so you guys can see. Not adding sugar to the strawberry because the strawberry has its own natural sweetness. There's no point to it, especially since I'm leaving sugar alone. I don't want to put no Splendor on it overnight. I don't want to put no... I don't want to put no Splendor, no Nutivia, no Spativia, none of that on it. I just want it to be the natural fruit that it is. So what I'm going to probably do is get me some more strawberries, slice them up, sit them inside of a jar, and just or in a container, and let them overnight do their thing. Take the strawberry, make my parfaits, which I will show you, because this weekend I intend, no matter what, Sunday is my day for my meal prep. And Sunday, you will see me prepping my stuff because I'm going to show you how I do my chicken breast, how I count out my shrimp, how I do my salmon. Um, basically, that's it because that's all I really eat. I can't find my turkey chops. So once I find my turkey chops, you'll see how I do those too. <clears throat> but I'm going to, I'm probably going to do some grilled chicken and I'm definitely going to do some grilled salmon. Um, and I probably will take it, make, um, chicken fajita strips get that seasoned up and let me tell you something i'm gonna have to do because what i realize is i cannot use those fajita packs taco packs so i'm gonna have to actually go and get some cumin and da 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 and add that to make my taco seasoning because of anything or i may just use mrs dash's um chipotle now like i told y'all try to go after miss dash use those seasonings because those will flavor your food and they have no salt in it. They, I, I say this because anybody that's trying to reduce their salt intake, Mrs. Dash will help you. They have a lemon herb, a garlic and herb. They have, well, I'm sorry, lemon pepper, garlic and herb, chipotle seasoning. And they're not spicy because I'm not a spicy eater. My daughter teases me and says that I have different taste buds. You can figure it out from there. Um... She kick picks at me all the time about my taste buds because like black pepper can send me crazy. But love, I love black pepper. 
and if it's too much it will I just get crazy so I cannot do spicy food I don't like anything spicy I have a sensitive tongue it's basically what me and my daughter Jessica have decided that we both have sensitive tongues because we could eat your food and tell you what you put in it we really could and so basically Use those Mrs. Dash products. I'm telling you, they are good. So you will see me using those. You will see me using another one, the Grill Mate. Because if you look at your labels, you will see they have no sugar, no salt, no salt. And then you question yourself, like, how in the world does this have flavor to it, but they don't have nothing in it? None of that matters. They're using something that's healthy for you. Use that. That is the thing that you go for, the thing that is healthy for you. So once again, no sugar in my diet, no salt. I'm cutting that stuff back. I'm drinking my waters on a regular. I have the jug that I showed you that my daughter bought for me. Um, those take, that thing by itself takes six, 16 ounce bottles, 16.9 ounce bottles will give me my gallon. It actually gives me a little bit over a gallon, which is great. Um, and so I use those. But like I said, this right here, this, and mind you, it, it's a light Greek yogurt. It has a sweetness to it, but it's not like the regular Greek yogurt that it wasn't if it wasn't in a light situation. It has a natural taste of sweetness, like I said. And that's the thing that I'm looking for. I'm the type of person that I can pretty much eat anything that's healthy. Um, I have a couple of kids that's like, no. And mommy, you can eat that Greek light all you want to. I'm not. Like, real talk. They won't eat it. And because they feel like it tastes funny. Me, it tastes great. I love it and I will eat it. Because I've made my mind up. That's what I'm going to do. Excuse me. Because this weather, I'm telling you. But, yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Is I'm about to eat this. And then I'm going to work out. Um, because I need to work out. I'm actually up in the air because I don't really want to go to the park. Because I'm, these spells that I keep having of exhaustion. Like, I get these waves of exhaustion and weakness. That sounds weird that I haven't gotten anything done about that. I don't know what it is. But I'm going to ask my doctor because I actually have a doctor's appointment today. And I'm going to ask him about it. Because, like yesterday, like the two days, like I said, it feels like vertigo, truthfully. If you ever have vertigo, you know what that feels like. It's like, it ain't just the slanting of the room. You know what I mean? Because your equilibrium is off. But it's also the, everything else that comes with it. Like the weakness and the exhaustion. and you be fine. I'm sitting here fine right now. Like I was going through this a couple of days in a row. And I was telling my husband. Like I'm sitting here talking to you right now. But then I get up to go do something. And it feels like I'm just completely exhausted. And I can't. So, I think that's what it is. Because I've been diagnosed with vertigo before. But I didn't have that this side of it. I had the other side where the room was just waving. And just nausea and all of that. And I'm going to find out today if this is part of what this is. And I'm feeling like that's what it is. That it's the vertigo. Either way, I will keep you guys posted. So, my house right now is so bland. Like, you can see my kitchen cabinets. You see that back there? No, no seasonal stuff up, none of that. Not because I didn't want to do it, but because my husband's been sick, I can't do it. And I'm going to tell you why I can't. Because I have to paint. And thank God he's feeling better. Because we're going to get it painted this weekend. And then I will put this stuff up. I, don't, I mean, you know, it'll be up to summer. To the summertime, turn around and come. I know I'm late. I don't care. I, I really know. I'm not feeling pressured to catch up. Fill it out. I don't even care. But it will be done this weekend. So, you will see that Sunday when I do my video on Sunday. Um, I might even fix one of my meals. You know something else I did? I went and bought me brown rice. I love brown rice. People hate it. I'm going to tell you the secret to brown rice. And, and some people is not going to agree with this, but this is my secret. I found something else that also, it's like a chicken broth and it does not have that much sodium in it it does not have that much um uh, sugars you basically just add a little bit of chicken broth you can add beef broth if you want beef flavor that night 
chicken or vegetable because they have a broth that's vegetable as well. So you can add a little bit of that. You don't need to use the whole cube. You don't need to use six tablespoons. Just add a little bit of that flavoring to your brown rice. Now, some people like brown rice by itself. <clears throat> and I'm one of them people. Um, but to add it, to extend the flavor of it, to treat myself somewhat, as I said, I put a little bit of broth in it. A little bit of broth, of whether it's chicken, vegetable, or beef. I really don't eat beef, so I wouldn't put beef in it. But the vegetable and the chicken, I would. And it's really good. I found me a wild... Um, wild rice brown rice i'm gonna make that with my salmon i've been looking for some asparagus i found some but i just i wasn't liking what i was seeing like they the stop the thing is that thin like can you see how thin my finger is how skinny it is i don't mm -mm. i don't know what kind of asparagus that is that just did not look like it should be mm -mm. Mm -mm. My finger's wider than the stalks I've been finding. So, and they used to sell it in the freezer department at Walmart, but they don't sell it anymore. So now that means I'm going to have to go on a journey. I'm going to probably go to Harris Teeter or Publix um, tomorrow. Matter of fact, I am going. I'm going to go to Harris Teeter and I'm going to go to Publix. My grandbaby's crying, guys. I got to go. I will talk to you later. Have a blessed day. Enjoy your life.